hey what's up guys welcome back to another video and this video is based on android oreo for oneplus 3 and oneplus 3t now we have the first build of both the devices which is available on xda so i have installed that and what are the issues you face while installing and what are the features what i felt and will also take a look at the bugs so guys this is lineage os unofficial 15 for oneplus 3 and oneplus 3t so you can see android version is 8.0 android security patch level is 5th august 2017 so guys the installation process is simple but uh, on oneplus 3 and oneplus 3t some of the users are facing issues with the unsuccessful decryption so to avoid that what you have to do is you need to boot your device to fast boot mode and in that after booting to fast boot mode you just have to connect your device to pc make sure adb drivers are installed and also do not forget to take your backup and after that use a command i'll mention the command in the description below and i will also update the download links from where you can download this update so guys as of now this build is not that stable but can be used as daily drivers i'll be using this on my oneplus 3 for few days until we get the next update so in this camera is not working it's a broken uh, file i installed google camera i tried to flash a zip file also but camera always gives me an error so camera is not working in this and as on xda they have also mentioned that fingerprint is also not working but but I have found fingerprint working there is no issue with the fingerprint so guys dash charger is also working uh, with oneplus 3 devices so we'll quickly take a look at the new things what are different compared to lineage os 14 so this is my lineage os 14 installed on my oneplus 3t and this is lineage os 15 so you can see it is launcher is almost same but and if you go to notification panel you can see this is the old notification and this is the new notification drawer available here so in this you can see you have a nice animation if you pull it down you can see the icons of the notification comes up with the cool animation and in this you get an option to make make it silent also uh, you can uh, avoid notification with a specific app for a specific time and in quick toggles you can see you have cast and you can also change the quick toggles over here you can add or remove quick toggles from this option by pressing on this icon so now first let's go to settings and see how they have maintained settings over here you can see everything is customized now now you don't have all separate options available everything is compact under battery you can see a new look over here you get the battery uh, percentage along with the battery symbol last full charge was this much and here you have screen usage since full charge battery saver mode available in this itself battery percentage also can be enabled from here adaptive brightness under under display you have uh, all the options related to your display brightness level adaptive brightness wallpapers sleep and under advance you have few more options like font size display size screen ambient display double tap to wake the screen so if your screen is logged you can just double tap to wake up the screen so here you will be finding all the things are compact in a very nice way and it is organized very well under network you have all your network options available and one more thing guys geo sim cards are working but as of now volt is not working in this so if you guys use uh, volt services you need to download specific app from geo store or from play store to use the geo calls facility and here you get all the connected device like uh, bluetooth and they have also mentioned that bluetooth is not working i have not tested bluetooth uh, because i don't have any bluetooth device available with me at present so under storage also you get a nice uh, design where you see the used storage and uh, the total storage available and the applications or the files which are using the storage and you also have a cool features under uh, system ui tuners so if you are not aware how to enable system ui tuner you can just tap this uh, setting button for a longer time and release it so i have already enabled i'll just uh, remove this i go to settings now 
and in this you can see uh, under system you have a system ui tuner available under this you can see status bar options you can get all these things available on status bar you also have do not disturb show with volume control you can enable that volume button shortcuts navigation bar you can change the layout of navigation bar and also add an extra key towards the left or right the last option what i like is you can also customize your lock screen if you guys love some specific app and you use it uh, on a regular basis you can just select that specific app from here and which will be directable from the lock screen the same thing you can do it from the left shortcut or the right shortcut under accessibility you have few things uh, like text to speech out font size display size magnification large mouse cursor power button to end call rotate touch and delay audio and on screen text you have mono audio captions you also have an access to shortcut of applications so if you want to go to the settings you directly press this and you have three options available here and if you tap this you can also change the widget so rest everything is working fine in this os living camera camera is not working i also have taken a benchmark test on this so if i go into history and show you you can see the single core uh, scores 1898 and multi core scores 3789 in the operating system is 8.0 device is one plus three these are the things as of now in this later i'll make a complete review once i get a stable version just for the experiment purpose i have installed this and picture in picture mode is still not working uh, with this that option you normally get it in system ui tuner but it is not available here in picture in picture mode so once i get a next build i'll try to make a, a review proper review on the same so if you guys are interested in testing this you can always install you can use this uh, software no issues about it just avoid camera usage rest everything what i feel is perfect calls are going and everything is so we can just wait for the next update to get released once it is out i'll make a proper video and uh, update you guys about the same so as of now nothing much in this video guys and uh, if you like the video do give me a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel do not forget to subscribe the channel so that's all in this video guys uh, thanks for watching have a great day